Hey, what's up, fellas? A little bit later on the day, I'm going to walk into uh, Albertsons, which is right in back of me. But this morning, I went and uh, played referee. And the title of this video is The Underground Fighting and Fake Martial Arts. Um, I don't know if you know, but just about every city I've ever been in has an underground fighting not an organized league, but if guys have beef with each other, um, we'll, they'll close a uh, MMA school, and that's where I'm coming from. Um, anyways, um, I just saw a guy, he's got to be either 40 or in his late 30s, and he uh, he's one of those martial artists where he can just flow and touch you and and they get out on the mat and he's got this uh, dobak, gi, whatever you want to call it in. Uh, could be considered a Japanese or Chinese uh, old uh, it's based upon the old firefighters uh, gear for Chinese and, and Japanese people. That's where the gi comes from. And um, this guy gets out there and he's got patches all over the place and this and that and, and a martial arts patches. I've never even heard of that. And the guy he's having a beef with is an actual MMA fighter who specializes in boxing and wrestling and uses jujitsu and Muay Thai to get himself out of trouble. So they get out there and the guy needs an extra five minutes to stretch out and, and guy gilled himself with this chi and he did the big and the guy's just over there like anyways warming up and I keep them separated three or four feet put my hand in between there are you ready are you ready fight and I get out of the way um the guy's doing all of this bopping around and the kid he walks in and he goes one, one, and knocks the guy out. I don't think that ninja master, Budan Bushido, Kung Fu wizard ninja guy had ever been hit in the face before in his life. Because when we're trying to get him up, I put my hand on his face and it was softer than mine's ever been. So, um, there are underground fighting going on all the time and the reason I participate in that kind of stuff is because I'd rather have them in the gym where we can keep them from killing each other and there's pads and mats and all the rest of that stuff you have to have a mouthpiece and a cup and but you can fucking scrap you can scrap and um but you're not gonna kill anybody and nobody's going to fucking jail and all they do, we lock the doors, and close all the windows, turn the fans on, and that's it. But you guys on YouTube, with all your fake, all you fake pretend ninja Shaolin masters that can't, have never been in a fight. If you want to be ser taken seriously, why don't you? Do a video where you're actually sparring against an opponent who is not one of your students, who opponent who's actually trying to beat you. And if you do well then, then maybe all that other nonsense you're talking about as far as fighting goes. Uh, is it is it's Tai Chi and all that? Is all that stuff good stretching and all that good exercises and bouncing around and waving your hands? But let me tell you something. In a real fight, nobody's going to put their arm out there and wait for you to do two or three different moves to incapacitate them. Uh, anyways, anyways. Um, I'm trying to be as respectful as I can. But there's a lot of fucking frauds out there. Well, they'll take your money. They'll take your money and they'll give you a belt and tell you you're a ninja. But that shit doesn't play in the real world. All right. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, you take care of yourselves. Like a fart in a G-string. West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. And you fake martial artists, give it a rest, man. Give it a rest. All right. Yeah.
I said like a fork and a juice during the hot air. Bye-bye.